and hello again and today I wasn't quite sure if this video should be part of my Ducati MHR rebuild or whether it should be part of my future 2020 Kawasaki Z650 stroke 1100 build and that's because this old drag bike of mine here um, is in the way I can't get the Ducati out of the house without moving this one and unfortunately there's no space for this bike anywhere else in the house or nearby in the garage or whatever so I've decided to take it apart and when I take it apart um, parts of it will be used to build another Harley based custom at some point in the future that is to say the engine, the gearbox, the primary and so on and they're the sort of expensive parts of the bike and just to remind you this is a Evo based aftermarket El Bruto 127 cubic inch, that is to say 2.1 litres engine, 6 speed gearbox, 3.5 uh, inch primary belt drive here with a competition clutch. Um, it's fitted with a hand change and an air shifter for drag racing. And this bike's a real kind of Heinz 57, it's built out of spare parts, anything I could find, parts left over from a previous drag bike, and so on. But sadly, sadly, I can't race it because. It doesn't fit into any class at the moment and it'll be too loud to race at any kind of local events. So, so as I say, I'm going to take it apart, I'm going to kill it basically, but its organs will be reused to build something new. And not just one bike, but two bikes. The first of those, as I just mentioned, is going to be the Z650 stroke 1100 project for next year. I'm not sure if the frame's going to be reused in a future project. I'm not sure. It's a bit heavy, to be honest. And this frame was once a chopper frame, but the whole front end's been chopped off, lowered and raked uh, to make it into a drag bike. And so now, if we look a bit closer at the bike, at the back end here, we've got a brand new Brembo caliper and a matching mass cylinder, which I can reuse on the Z650, along with perhaps the mount and the rear disc. And also, these rather nice billet one-off wheels. They're 17 inch back and front. I think the rear is six inch rim and the front is a standard uh, three and a half. Now they're not looking too good at the moment. They're a bit dusty and corroded, but I think once they're polished up and treated, they should look pretty damn good. And in fact, these sensors here are not even polished yet. They've uh, been fitted straight off the milling machine where they were made. And so with a lot of work, we can get them shiny and polished up, or maybe I'll get them painted or even anodized. I'm not sure yet. It all depends how they might look on the bike when it all comes together. While here at the front end, we've got a matching billet front wheel. Front disc is from a, I think it's a Jixxer K3 or K4000, whereas the forks are from an early ZXR 750, as are the calipers. Now, right now, this front end is just running a single disc and caliper, but it can be fitted with dual discs. So I do have the other front disc for this bike, so I can fit that on there. Obviously it needs a adapter of course to make it all work. Not sure if I'm going to keep these rather old fashioned Tokiko 4 pots. I'd like to fit a matching set of um, Brembo's, Gold Line Brembo's to match the rear caliper that's on the bike at the moment. And these billet yokes are also made by Jeff along with the risers. Although I think these risers are probably a bit too long to fit to the Z650 so I'll have to make some new ones. Instrumentations will have to be changed, of course. These hand controls are made for Harley, so they can't go on the Z650. That's no great problem. Um, so yeah, the whole front end, wheels, brakes, and so on, they can all be donated to the Z650. And here's the back wheel taken from the bike. And I must say, I think it might be quite a lot wider than that fitted to an original ZXR750. And that's a problem because this swing arm here, which we modified, is from that bike. And if that's too wide, obviously it won't fit into the swing arm. And that's got a big tab here that needs to be removed. But despite that, I just want to do a quick check. I'm not sure if you can see this, to see if this thing's going to fit. Now, obviously, we're going to have um, the alloy adjusters mounted on here yet. So let me just spin that around a little bit and see what's going to go on. Can't scratch anything. Okay, it looks to be. It we'll goes something like that. Can you see that? I think we should be okay, just about. A little bit of room there. I need space for the um, brake mount as well. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty damn close. There's plenty of room for the tyre, but um, in terms of room for the 
the brake caliper mount and so on, there's not a great deal. So anyway, let me just carefully oops, remove this off here. There we go. So this tab's going to have to go, as is that one there. And even then it's going to be quite a tight fit, I think. So let me just put that down. And that's not a problem though, because, or it might not be a problem, because this wheel here is a composite wheel and the hubs are bolted to the centres. And these hubs can be reduced down in size, it can be machined down a wee bit. Maybe not on that side, but on this side, these hubs, um, this bit here, can be machined down by quite a lot if need be. I mean, obviously we need to make sure we've got clearance for the chain, but there's still a good, I'd say, 10mm there that we can take off if need be. So although it might be a bit of a close call, I think this wheel will fit in that swing arm with some mods. That's a good thing. Anyway, next then, I've now got to take the front end off this old drag bike and we'll see how that looks. And finally, I've got to remove the forks and the yokes off the bike, as well as the handlebars and all these instruments and so on. Um, I won't film that, it's going to be a bit boring, so I'll come back when I've finished. And now here we have the wheel off the bike, and just like the rear wheel, it does need some work. It needs polishing and cleaning up, but it's not looking too bad. One job though I can do in the near future is to fit a second disc to this wheel, because right now it's a single disc wheel with just a cap here on this side. But as you can see, it's been drilled and tapped for some bolts here, so we can take that off and make a second mounting plate here, like that, like, like that one there, so I can mount a second disc on this side of the wheel. And now, as I remove the yokes, I don't want to take apart the handlebar, so I'm just going to lift it off here gently and just leave it wherever it hangs. I can come back to this another day and uh, sort all that out, but for now, I just want to try and get these yokes off. There we go. There's a top yoke gone, that's fine. And then, got to undo this now. This might be quite tight, I think it should be. Yeah. I need to get something in there to loosen off this cap. So just a second and we'll find something. There we go, that's better. Now these yokes are all one off, so this is also a one off piece. But it works really well, so that's fine. Let's just grab that. And this top piece here, by the way, is stainless steel. And no go rusty. I can go. Just gently move that down like that. Now these are actually Harley bearings, so they probably won't work with a Kawasaki headstock. But no matter, we can change that at some point. It's not the end of the world. So let's just um it always helps to keep everything together as much as you can. So you don't lose anything. So yeah, that can go like that. That and I can put the caps back on these risers. And now here are those yokes off the bike, and hopefully they can be fitted to the Z650 project. Now, obviously, the stem is the wrong size, but that's okay, we can press that out and fit a different stem if need be. And also, these risers are going to be far too long, I think, for that bike. But again, it's no great problem. We can even make new ones or shorten these or just find something else to use. So, again, not a great problem. Um, now, as to whether these are going to be polished or anodized or just painted black or something, I don't know yet. We'll have to see how it looks when it's on the bike and I can sort of stand back and see how the whole thing gels together. But that won't be happening for a long time yet because, as I keep on saying, this is supposed to be for a 2020 project. So uh, I'm trying not to do too much right now, but I must say it's very tempting just to keep on going and seeing how things work out. And that's this old drag bike of mine, which now has no wheels and no front end. Well, don't worry. I've got a big plans for this project here. Um, the engine, transmission and primary are the really valuable parts of this bike. Everything else is pretty much uh, a sort of Heinz 57, second hand, made to fit, whatever. And so I'm going to use those parts to build a new bike at some point in the future. And that's going to be quite an ambitious project. Um, not even sure it's going to work, but hopefully it will. And uh, it'll certainly be very different. But that'll have to wait for another day. And so for now, let's get back to the Z650. 
Okay, Jeff, so here we are in your workshop again for part three of our, or my, your, Z650 yeah. stroke 1100 project for yeah. 2020, which is uh, slowly progressing. And what I see here now is the main frame. You've got it on here. Yeah. And we've got some cases from somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, well, <coughs> what we've done is we've, I've dug out another set. The, the set that I was going to use had them long spaces in. They're too long. Okay, okay. And now that they've been pressed in, they, they were awkward to cut down. So... We've got a few sets of cases. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> and this is a case from what? Is this from a B? Oh, a B1? Uh, is it what? From a B1. The, well, there's a set there. These are J, but they, they, they're all, all the same. They're, yeah. all right. As long as you they've got the relevant uh, engine number on right, it when right. it's done. Okay. Uh, unluckily, the bottom mounts do not go anywhere near. Oh, yeah, we did think they yeah. might not, and but they don't. Luckily. Hang on, let me just stop and we'll have a look at that. Okay, so we've now refocused and looking at this area here because... Have we got that in here? Yes. These are the original Z650 mounts. Yes, for the engine. Uh, they're actually stopping the engine sliding up a bit. Right. Uh, and so where? these will have to be removed. Okay. And can um, you see where the original mounts are going to be off this thing? I can't see it from this side. Uh, but the, the top one, if we, if we can look through, oh, yeah. if it comes forward a bit, that... Is the original line? Z650 one there, okay. the, the lug, is in line. Is in line, but it's only a 10 mil. Right. We take uh, it out. Well, what we could do is cut that off and make a new boss for it. Yeah. Put yeah. A 12. Okay. Put you know bigger bigger mm -hmm. bolts in. Mm -hmm. These will have to be removed and have a. Cut. I, I, I was studying this and considering we've got to make two slugs anyway. to join the frame, we might as well make two new loops and okay. join it here. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's Which means. We don't have to what about? Naff, flaff around trying to cut what all these brackets off. Okay, okay. And then once that's joined there, we could actually weld the tube across to brace it to stiffen. You know, keep sounds good. To, okay. So we can uh, use these originals mm -hmm. with a new plate. Okay. And we can weld a new 12 mil lug for the for the new engine bolt. I can make some spaces up accordingly to suit. So yeah. now that I've spoke to you, so, we can get um, on with that. Okay, Jeff. So, what you're up to today? You're cleaning up um, those cases. It looks like. While you were having tea. Of course, yeah, drinking tea. I have found these. Yeah, and what is? Uh, oh, the. Uh, the they're actually, they were made for the GPZ cases to replace the rubber mounts. Okay, because we don't want that. Um, we can machine. They actually go in. We have to put a slide in between there. Yeah. And these need machining then. In fact, that's right. The, the, they slide in, this, but without super duper Loctite on them, they go in nowhere. You can't, then they can't come once no. between the brackets. They go in. Okay, so basically nowhere. we're changing from having a rubber mounted rubber mount, front to mount, solid mount, solid yeah. mounts. Um, Good stuff. So we've, we've got, got to got do those. the top, the front ones. We need to make a space to go between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that needs substantially machining down to that. Yeah. We're going to have to cut, cut it down a bit. Yeah, because they only want to be about 13, 10 or thirteen ish yeah. wide yeah. for the. Okay. For the bracket. And then, so then here we have the, just go around a little bit, here we have the let's just barrels, them over. which need to be rebored, one mil, and um, that will give us an 11, 1170cc I think. Uh, no, uh, I think it'd probably only be about 1120 okay, or something. 11, sorry. 1175 mil I think takes it okay. to 1170. Oh, well, we're going to 73.8, it might be about oh, 1130 well, or something whatever. around there. Doesn't really matter. The, the bike's going to be hopefully a torque, a yeah. torquey bike rather than one with huge amounts of top end power. And talking about that, um, wrapped up there in that little whatever it is, little uh, <laughs> chocolate box, is or are four pistons, which will be going in these this cylinder here. Let's open it up. Now these are not brand new, but they're. They are absolutely, they've been run, but they're in very good fettle. Yeah, yeah. They just want to polish on the top, get that yeah. carbon off. And, and that's uh, why we need to have these taken out to 73.5, because these are 73.5. They're on set, the, 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 the thing is, the barrel, it's it, it, it's got a, I think we you showed last time, yeah. there's a little bit of damage in oh, yes, one of yeah, the cylinders, yeah. which... Hopefully, if we take it out a mil, a mil, should, it'll clear. It'll clear all that. Even half, a quarter, half a mil wouldn't clear that. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. good job that we, we got them. Mm -hmm. The other thing we're going to do, on your suggestion, I'm not sure myself, but I think we'll go for it, is um, 
we'll round off the edges of these um, fins here. You don't have to do it, but no, I, I think it look better. I think to make it look a bit more like an early Z. It, I think it looks better personally. Yeah, along with some yeah. machining on the head itself to match. So the that's head, something yeah. to happen later on. But at the moment, still lots to do. And but this now is ready. I can make a. I've got a plate somewhere for mounting these on the jig. Okay. From from last time, yeah, which I'll have to find. Mm -hmm. But now we've got all. Well, once we can get all our spacers in, yeah. we can then make the brackets and then we'll get them well start the to frame. start to get it all. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to use these, I do. Yes. They're out to twelve sixty. Yeah. Yeah. We won't go that far. Um, unless a blood stamp thing. I had a set of cake. I'm sure there was a bit of welding on these, but I hope not. It must. No. Look okay. I had a set, and one of these lugs had been built up. All oh, right. Well, but it must okay. be on a, 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 a on a set set-up there. Yeah. Um, okay. I know one. I know one had had a little. Okay, so that's the cases. Repair. That's the pistons, and that's a cylinder yeah. block. What about the head? Have we got a head? heads up there? Got a head. Have we got a crank? I've oh, got a crank. Yeah, lots of cranks. That's fine. Gearbox. Yeah, plenty. Plenty, plenty gearbox. Yeah, because you collect Kawasaki. I think it, I put it all in the shed. Okay, is that on? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, still on. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. So we've got enough yeah, kind of to it. make a complete engine. What about things like an alternator? Alternator, starter, that, yeah. Start, all that kind of stuff. Uh, nuts, little nuts and, nuts bolts, and bolts and dowels. And we'll just yeah. have to root out as we go well, along. Well, as you mentioned before, I think I'll be getting those uh, performance um, studs and the, uh, A lot and of these. We, we, I do have Not the standard that. studs, but no, the no, thing no, is... No. For, for 120 it, quid, I'll get the decent stuff. Well, they're 80 quid a set, but yeah. the nuts are the same, so... Well, that's 160, you know. It, it, you don't want to risk anything for the sake of yeah. 80 quid. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean... Pro if, if you're going to build it, you don't. You could use the standard head nuts, but no, no, no. Get something it, a bit better. You might as well just. If you're going to put a brand new set of chrome molly studs in, you might as well put a brand new set of chrome molly head nuts on it, absolutely. and it's done then. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so that's progress so far, and we'll come back next week and mm -hmm. see. Well, this should be on the jig. That'll be done, and then we can start some work mm -hmm. on the frame. Because uh, I'd like to get the frame pretty much back together again by the end of June. Well, that's on that's Z, the KZ 10 be it's, it's I'm not sure what model that is but mm -hmm. it'll like, the, the same, there is it? some fractions of differences you have to know because some of these have dowels mm -hmm. and, and o-rings and some don't the unitrax don't so we gotta know which one's which uh, you may have to run a unitrack head gasket oh, well we'll work that one out at some point uh, because One's designed for uh, for little rubbers and O-rings, yeah, and one isn't. So, but then you might just end up getting a copper head gasket. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll you see. know, I mean, all this is supposed to be for next or year. Or so contact, you know. Right well, now, we can just play around yeah. and do some basic work rather than getting into the detail stuff. I do okay. have one of them clutch spacers as well. Oh, yeah. oh yes, yes, I have one of them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll have that as well. Even though there'll be nothing inside of it that's special. It looks nice. It'll look it, cool. It, it, it looks, looks, cool. and it looks nice. Point. And that's the whole point. Yeah. But okay. what I'd like, I always think it polished and having it looking silver. And oh, yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Looks, it looks proper. Proper, proper. proper. Yeah. Okay. So we'll come back next week and see how far we've got with that. Well, how far we sh it with should that. be on the jig. Yeah, so we should have these all machined up um, for the mounts and then we can get the engine just, cases and the frame on the jig and get that mm -hmm. frame modified. We just want to make a centre spacer for there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you. Do, I mean, technically, once they're in, you don't really want to be tightening, putting a lot of pressure. Man, you're, it probably wouldn't matter. No, no, let's do it right. I don't. We'll put a spacer in there. It's nice to have it in and then clamped up nice. And I'm tight. thinking if you start to put pressure on them. No, you're putting stress. We don't need to put. Stress. You know, I yeah. thought it, it, it puts. Put yeah. it. Put it in because yeah. these will basically stay in, and then when you get the cases painted. They'll, they'll just same. they'll just all get painted yeah, in unless okay. you want to mask them up. No, no, no. We'll do the whole damn thing in one go. Do it, and then yeah. it's done. Okay. Then great stuff. It's now time we went home, so we'll come back next week yeah. and see do how far we're going to get.